Every streamer wants one, most streamers have one, and unless you're nutty, you're probably not using it to its full potential. No, not even me, but I do have five amazing plugins that are gonna make you a Stream Deck power user. Yes, that's what we're talking about today, the Stream Deck. Which comes with a magnetic stand. Before we do, however, let's be fully transparent. I've been using a Stream Deck Mark 1 for the past two years on my stream, and Elgato was so nice to provide me with a Stream Deck XL completely for free only last week. So while this video is hashtag not sponsored, I do want to thank Elgato for sending me this beautiful Stream Deck. And we are immediately beginning with a weird one, because technically this is not a plugin for your Stream Deck. It's a plugin for your OBS, but it helps with one of the massive frustrations that can happen for your viewers and using a stream deck makes it much easier to control. Maybe you remember a situation in which you started a completely new game. You boot up the game only to find that your webcam is hiding crucial information to the game from your viewers. At that moment you need to be able to move your camera quickly and efficiently and you can do this with the move transition plug- sorry it's now called the Move plugin from Exceldro, and it does exactly that. What this plugin allows me to do is set up positions on the right side and left side of my screen, which I can switch my camera between. But then I've also added a new feature, which allows me to shift my camera left, right, up and down, however I want. I can even flip the camera if I don't want to go to preset position. To do this, we first need to get the Move Transition plugin from the OBS website. When in OBS, open the scene you want to use this on and open the filters menu. Then just add a move source filter and call it whatever you want. From the source, pick whichever source you want to use. For me, that's going to be the vertical camera. And then scroll down to the transform and click get transform. Now, whenever you turn that filter on, it will move your camera to that position. Then it's onto the filters that make your camera shift a little bit at a time. If you want to do this, all you need to do is make another filter and we'll call this the shift left filter. Then we once again select our camera, scroll down to transform, but instead of clicking get transform, we click transform relative. As you can see, that has completely changed how the coordinates in the transform box look. I like to shift by about 10 pixels at a time, but if you want to do more or less, then you just adjust that how you want. To shift left, all you need to do is set the X coordinate to minus 10. If you want to shift right, set it to plus 10. For up, we are going to set the Y coordinate to minus 10. And if you want to go down, set the Y coordinate to plus 10. If you want to mirror your camera horizontally, so you are facing the other direction, set your scale X to minus one. And if you want to flip upside down, pretend you're Australian, then all you need to do is set your Y scaling to times minus one. Of course, you can do this for every source that you want. So I've made it so I can zoom in on my face in the camera box but also set it up to full-blown screen reactions. <gasps> now let's hook it up to your Stream Deck. Head into the OBS folder and pick the filter button. Put a filter as one of your buttons and as the source, choose the scene you've just been using. Then as the filter, choose whichever filter you want to use for this button. Of course, you're gonna do this for every single button you've set up. And now you too can shuffle across the screen. Play with this because the Move Transition plugin is way more powerful. It can do so much more. Now let me ask you a big question, a very big question. What if you could could host quick and reliable giveaways without any faff. All you need is Twitch Tools by Bar Raider. Install the plugin and open the menu. Add the giveaway button to your Stream Deck and then choose a chat command to enter the giveaway. Add the name of whatever you are giving away and now you can open the giveaway by simply pressing the button. And the best thing, you can see how many entries there are to your giveaway on the Stream Deck. Once you are ready to draw a winner, just press the button again and it will automatically pop someone into your chat to win your giveaway. But there is a lot more you can do. You can change the messages that are sent to chat if you want reminders and how often you want those and even if there can be more than one winner. You can also set it up to output all the winners straight into a text file so you don't forget who won at the end of your stream. 
and closing the giveaway is just as easy. You just need to long press the button and it immediately closes it. On top of that, this plugin allows for much more than just the giveaways. You can automatically VIP, timeout, or ban someone in your chat. You can also make a folder with your favorite live streamers or people that you want to raid, and then you can see when they are live and raid them with a single press of the button. You should definitely go check it out and see what you can make for your channel right after I tell you how you can hack your way to a Go XLR with nothing but your stream deck. Well, almost. Of course, you won't be getting an XLR microphone, but with just two plugins, you have literally every other functionality. First off, we have Volume Controller which is a plugin that allows you to control the volume of every program you use. You can see it right here. I can control the volume of my Chrome, VLC, Voice Mod, Dixper, and Spotify, all from my Stream Deck. To set this up, open your volume controller menu and grab a manual detection node. Then select the application you want to use. In our case, we'll be trying it out with Google Chrome, and then click Adjust. Set the adjust slider to plus five. You see that automatically the slider on the stream deck turns into the top half of a fader. Now to complete the fader, we just copy and paste. And on the bottom one, we set the fader to minus 5%. And now you can simply click each of the buttons to keep your volume in check. The last thing I like to do is to paste it again right above the slider and set it to mute. That makes life easy because you can now mute the source by pressing that button and unmute it by pressing it again. Not just that, you now also know what your fader is for and if it's grayed out, then that program is not outputting any sound. But we can do more because the Go XLR has one more feature that we need to address, the sound pad. Install the sound deck plugin and drag two buttons onto your stream deck. The first is your sampler button. Set your capture device to the microphone that you want to use and now you can record a sample by just holding down the button. Hi, my name is Barry Epps, and this is Content Delta. Hi, my name is Barry Epps, and this is Content Delta. And if you're not happy with the sample, all you need to do is clear the sample and you can record it again. To do this, just drag a clear sampler button onto your stream deck, press the clear sampler and click the sampler that you want to delete. Now your sampler is empty and you can record it again. Echo. Echo, echo, echo. And there you go. You've now hacked your way halfway to a Go XLR. If you're looking at getting your own Stream Deck, Stream Deck XL or Stream Deck Plus, then I have left links to them in the description below. And when you choose to buy it through that link, you are supporting the channel. They are affiliate links, so thank you. Okay, time for the next one. And really no list like this can be complete without it. It is the Windows Mover. It's really simple, but it's quality of life on overdrive. Do you have that problem where you start your stream and Every time you start it, you have to drag your windows from one side to another and resize them and shit. Well, now you can just grab a Windows resizer node and put your window in the exact right position and record where it is. Now, if you put that in a multi-action, what you get is whoosh, 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 ta-da! It's a stupid little time saver, but I absolutely love it. Okay, fine, you're not satisfied with that. Uh, I understand, it's just a silly little plugin. You want more Stream Deck functionality. Well, what about this? Your Stream Deck can literally do anything you want. It can technically even make you coffee. If there's ever something that your Stream Deck can't do with plugins and you want a button for it, then all you need to do is make a hotkey. Plus, you don't even have to use your actual keys for it. Back in the olden days of yore, where computers filled rooms and 32 kilobytes of RAM was a lot, keyboards used to have 24 function buttons instead of 12, which we see today. Those buttons your PC still recognizes, even if they are not physically available anymore. Add Shift, Control, and Alt as modifiers, and that puts you over 80 extra keys to put hotkeys on. And all you have to do is go into the system menu on your Stream Deck and place a hotkey button. Set it to whatever you want from the hotkey menu. For example, F24, and if you hold control, it will automatically add that modifier. Go to whatever program you are looking to use it on, say OBS, and go into the hotkeys tab in the settings menu. And let's say that I want it to start vertical recording when I press that hotkey. Now, all I need to do is click the line, press the hotkey on my stream deck, and boom, done. 
Although, if you do want it to make coffee, you might need to write your own app for that. That is why a Stream Deck is something everybody should consider. Even if it's just the virtual one, you get a few free pages and that sort of stuff. And did you know that StreamerBot also has a Stream Deck plugin? So you can even do something like this. Do a barrel roll! Check out how to set up the barrel roll and make it a channel point redemption on your channel using streamer.bot right here. Thank you again Elgato for providing the Stream Deck XL for this video. And as always, stream better, stream smart.